here in Richmond, capital of Virginia, representing the Spiritist Society of Richmond. Normally we meet weekly in person to study, but due to the fact that we are all asked to stay in our homes and limited the number of um, people we gather around to aid in halting the epidemic of the coronavirus, we decided to join you tonight with a live stream talking today about the power of prayer. Before we start, I would like to ask you to join me. I'm going to read a message from the book Happy Life by Joan G. Angelis. Through the Spirit, sorry, the Spirit Joan G. Angelis through the medium Divaldo Franco. The message number 149. God knows your destiny and is in control of your life. You deserve whatever happens to you so that you may gain new ground along the evolutionary continuum. God is a merciful Father who watches over you. Never consider yourself overlooked, tumbling down the slippery slope of rebelliousness and blasphemy. Humans must practice courage and resignation, otherwise they will stay spiritually immature. God does not play favorites. God loves everyone the same way. Let yourself be led by events you cannot change, while lovingly changing those that will benefit you. Falling into despair, never. So, before we start, I will invite you to join me on a short on a prayer. And to the extent that you can, we recommend that you close your eyes to uh, diminish all the stimulation around you. And also, of course, if you are driving or operating in machinery, you wouldn't do that. But then you would close your eyes. Feel present in the moment and then repeat silently in your head the words of the prayer. Okay, so tonight, dear Lord, we thank you for the opportunity of being together and for allowing us to spread your good news during the world. We ask you for your blessings to be bestowed upon all of those all of humanity in both realms of life, all throughout the earth. May we remain faithful and may you give us strength to overcome any difficulties that we have. We ask you that you bestow your grace and help upon all of those who suffer. We ask that our guardian angels be with us at all times. And we ask you for the wisdom of being able to open our hearts and minds to their guidance and counsel. With your permission and protection, asking for all the blessings you can give us, we begin today's studies. And so be it. Friends, today we were inspired to talk with you a little bit about the power of prayer as we all collectively on the earth go through these difficult times, what a better topic than prayer in the light of spiritism, of course. And then what we have here today is an outline. We'd like to talk to, to you about prayer, in a sense, what is prayer according to spiritism? When do we pray? Why do we pray? And how do we pray? Is that a right way of praying? Is there a way or a time where we should be praying for one another? Okay, and I'm going to use three different sources for us. The Gospel according to Spiritism, the Spirit's Book, of course, by Kardec, and the book Fought in Life by the Spirit Emmanuel through Chico Xavier. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let us know. And we'll be together 
sharing all these teachings in this beautiful night. What is prayer, friends? So prayer, we learn from the spirits in the Gospel according to Spiritism, chapter 27. We learn on item 9 that prayer is an invocation through which, by means of thought, man enters into communication with the being to whom he directed himself. So when we have a thought and we evoke that thought towards something or someone, we're communicating with that being. In this case, we want to talk about prayer being that divine journey of the mirror of our souls aiming towards the higher realm in order to reflect its greatness. So when you're praying, you want to think about what am I seeking? What, what do I want to achieve? And then you direct that thought, that invocation, always aiming higher because we always want to reflect God's greatness within ourselves. And Emmanuel also brings to us that to pray is to align oneself with the greatest source of power in the universe, to absorb its riches and to reflect the laws of permanent renewal that govern the foundations of life. This is what we have. So when you and I are thinking and we're directing our thoughts to our creator, to our garden angels, to the good spirits, <clears throat> we are aligning ourselves with the source of greatness. So prayer is an aid to help you and I with these alignments. Because remember, in spiritism, we believe that we are We believe that we are <clears throat> destined to progress. We believe that we are destined to grow, to go from a simple and ignorant spirit to a superior spirit. So in order to do that throughout the way, when we pray, we align in ourselves with that source of power on the universe. Have you thought about it? God is hearing our prayers. God is listening to you and I in all moments in our lives and making God making itself present in our lives through the action of others in both realms of life, right? In the Spirit's book, Questions and Answers, 659, Kardec asked to the good spirits, what is the nature of prayer? And the spirits answer, prayer is an act of adoration. Praying to God is a means to think, to get closer, and to communicate with a divine power. Have you thought about it? When you pray, what do you pray for? And does God, this creative force of the universe do you think prayer is in any way pleasing to god kardec also asked that question kardec asked is prayer pleasing to god that's question and answer 658 of the spirit's book the spirits answered prayer is pleasing to god when it comes from the heart prayer is pleasing to god when it's offered with faith and sincerity so dear friends we see this invocation as a means to get closer to the source this creative power to absorb the richness of the greatness of god when you and i connect and pray with god and the spirits bring to us that it's important to pray with faith passion and sincerity so the better way to pray, if, to, if I may put it this way, would be for us to be very sincere, like a conversation with our Father. And God is there 
and he's listening to us or she's listening to us. And the more sincere we are, the better it is, more, more pleasing to God it is. And why does one pray? So we have this communication and this invocation and this thought being sent to the being that we direct our, our prayers to. Why do you pray? Is there any specific reason for us to pray? For our one, one another, we should pray for one another. We should pray for the good spirits to inspire us. Have you thought about it? Do you just pray as a habit or do you pray for a specific reason? So we pray, we should pray now, especially in these moments of difficulty during our transitory um, planetary transition, we should definitely pray for ourselves, we should pray for humanity, for the planet Earth, for our brothers and sisters in the lower kingdoms, in the nature, we should pray for the animals, for the uh, plants, and for all of the globe together. Now, when do you pray? Is there a specific time of the day we should be praying? Is there a specific um, day of the week, of the month? Let's see what the spirits tell us. So in the gospel according to spiritism, the Sp Kardec brings to us, it is possible to pray in all places at any time, alone or with others. So you and I can be having a conversation with someone and at the same time mentally praying for that person, praying for his or her guardian angels. We can be together in the spiritist center. We can be together in a religious institution all around the world. We can be alone and we can be with others. We can talk it out loud like I did in the beginning or we can keep it a silent prayer at all times. On item 22 of chapter 27, Kardec brings to us the first duty of all human beings, the first act that should mark the return to activity each day's prayer. So you and I go to sleep every day, right? Hopefully we all good, get a good night of sleep. We do intelligent sleep. We pray before going to sleep so that we can use our time during sleep when our souls disengage from our bodies and go spend time in the spiritual realm. And then in the morning, the spirits are telling us your first duty when you return to the physical body, the physical body is resting, ready for another day. Our first duty is to pray before we reach for our phones, before we get out of bed and go take care of um, acts of hygiene. The spirits tell us your first duty of all human beings <clears throat> is to pray each and every day. They also say that daily prayer is a fulfillment of our duty in this planet while we are alive. So pray all the time, pray everywhere, pray by, your, pray by yourself, pray with others. Pray, especially when you come back to the physical life and you can talk about praying and the blessings of being alive. So when we return to our physical body. Okay, so next we would talk about the importance of prayer. Is there a specific way, friend, that you pray? Do I need to be in a specific location? Can I pray seated? Do I need to pray lying down? Do I need to be on my knees? Is there any specific instructions that the spirits give to us? The spirits say, <clears throat> in the spirits book, questions and answers 659, the spirits re respond to Kardec, a person who prays may do three things. So you praise God, for all the blessings that God bestows upon us each and every day, for everything that we have, that we don't create, that it, we take it for granted sometimes, that is just given to us as a means of being alive, incarnated in this planet. You may ask, 
So you can ask for guidance, for protection, for inspiration, right? And you can offer thanks. You can say, you can thank God for everything that you have, everything that God provides for us. You can thank your garden angels. You can thank the planet for receiving you. During this lifetime, right, we are all incarnated in this earthly humanity to grow together. The spirits continue. This is now on the Gospel according to Spiritism, chapter 27, item 22. The spirits say, praying with humility and depth, an impulse of gratitude for all the benefits received during that day. So the spirits are saying, offer up your weaknesses, plea for help indulgence and mercy from the lord so dear friends many of us have grown in different religions where we were taught to memorize different prayers and there's nothing wrong with saying memorized prayers but the spirits are encouraging us to have that conversation remember that invocation the communication and absorption of richness from the creator, they are encouraging us to be spontaneous, talking from the heart. And remember, we can pray all the time, everywhere, so that if you remember that if difficulties come in your way, you're feeling tired, you're feeling agitated, you're fe feeling fearful, that's our opportunity to exercise these blessings of prayer. See, use prayer as a tool as a tool for improvement of yourself, a tool for you to help others, right? There are so many people we come along during our daily lives. There are many different people who could use the help of your silent prayer, open your heart, open your mind, so that you can be an instrument of God's will on this earth and the good spirits will come and help you. Now, in continuation, on the topic of some tips and tricks of the trade and how to pray the spirits on chapter 27 item 15 of the gospel according to spiritism they say the power of prayer lies in the thought and does not depend on words the place or the moment in the, in each it's preferred so in a sense i was just telling you it doesn't matter if we memorize a specific prayer but it really lies on the thought it really lies on our ability to harness that thought and that um power and strength in your heart and mind being together so that you can invoke that um the richness of god they on chapter 27 now a little bit in the before this topic on item four, the spirits say, rather pray in secret. Do not prolong your prayers because it is not by the multiplicity of words that you'll be heard, but by their sincerity. If you have anything against another, forgive him. Pray with humility and not with pride. So again, that invocation of God, bringing that thought down to faith and power and concentration but he says pray in secret doesn't we don't have to say it out loud and say it louder than others but he says do not prolong your prayers so be concise don't uh, use too many words the more is not the merrier on this case what it really counts is humility and it it's your ability to communicate your innermost feelings and really ask with sincerity for what you need because God as our creator is taking care of each and every one of us so but it's our duty to plea for help from the good spirits now we talked about prayer being that invocation we talked about <clears throat> why we pray right why you and I why some of the reasons we may pray we talked about a little bit about how to pray. This is by no means an extensive uh, list of all the topics of prayer and spiritism. I recommend that you look in chapter 27 of the gospel 
also in chapter 28, you have many examples uh, on the gospel according to spiritism of prayers compiled by Kardec. So what happens when we pray? So when you and I are in prayer, what do the spirits tell us that happens? It says when a thought is directed at someone, either on earth or on space, from an incarnate to a discarnate being or vice versa, a fluidic current established between them, which transmits the thought from one to the other. Remember when we read uh, Thought in Life by Emmanuel and also Evolution into Worlds by Andrea Louise, Mechanisms of Mediumship by Andrea Louise, we learn that thought is life. Thought has power. Thought is a way that we communicate and connect with one another throughout space. And here you can pray, you can direct that prayer to someone that is incarnate or discarnate. You can pray for someone you know in your family, for someone that you don't know, but might be working on behalf of all humanity. For example, we pray for all of those who have to go to their work every day, we pray for those who are producing all the food that we eat, all the medical supplies we're going to need. We pray for the medical professionals, physicians, nurses, therapists, and all of those who make our hospitals run so that those who are sick can be helped, right? We can direct our thoughts to them, and then we are going to establish this current with them, and we'll be able to connect with one another, okay? And what happens when we pray? Do you think anything happens? Do you think these good spirits are with us? Most definitely. They are always with us. What we have to do is open our hearts to receive their help. What we need to do is to be mindful of our ability to be a co-creator with God, our ability to connect with them so that they may make us an instrument of the good, especially on these difficult times. Pray when we are happy as well. Let's pray. We, we were inspired to talk to you about prayer so that we can get used to the motions of prayer, to scheduling during our day times, use the technology to remind ourselves of praying every day. In a sense, we need to know what happens, right? So if we're praying, we obtain the assistance of good spirits who come running to sustain him or her who prays in the good and inspire wholesome ideas. So again, in the gospel according to spiritism. So when we are praying, what we have is the spirits who are there ready to help us every day. They're just waiting for that opening of our hearts and souls to be attuned, mindful of the moment, mindful of acting on what we can change. And like Joanna reminded us, living in the difficult times and changing lovingly what we can. And then when we pray for ourselves, for others, for the planet, for the animals, for the plants, for the blessings that we have on this whole universe, the spirits come. And they will do what? They will sustain us, they will inspire us, and they will sustain us in the good because the good spirits will never sustain us in something that is not good. And one more reason for us to be in connection with them. So what God will do, God will concede if we direct ourselves to him, of course, through prayer, with confidence, is courage, patience, and resignation. So when, when you and I are praying, we're evoking this greatness and the riches of God. We're communicating and connecting with those in the same frequency of prayer. We are praising God. We are asking God for something. And we're thanking God for all that we have. But God, all wise and powerful and omnipotent, immaterial and immutable we god will won't remove our difficulties from our lives what god will do is give us courage and resignation 
right? When we are in difficult times, sometimes as uh, Joanna brought to us in the beginning, we are going through different things because we have to. She says, you deserve or whatever happens to you so that you may gain new ground along the evolutionary continuum. Of course, we're not, never going to wish that we have difficulties, but as spirits in evolution, in a world of trials and expiations, we will undergo difficulties. Our times on the earth now are a testimony of difficulties, collective difficulties individual difficulties and as we evolve spiritually god they won't remove those difficulties from our path if not if that's not the best for us but god will always give us courage patience and resignation all right this was our thoughts our sharing of our contact in spiritism about prayer i hope this was something that you can use in your daily lives and as always look for places um where goodness reign do the best you can today for those who you love and use those tools of prayer this outline of prayer to help one another on these difficult times and in that In that thought, we are going to do a, a final prayer so that we can attune with the good spirits and with God and pray for this entire planet Earth, the beautiful Earth that has accepted us, the beautiful Earth that is the place where we reside today, so that we may all go through whatever we have to go through together. Okay, so I invite you now to close your eyes if you're able to. If you're not, remember what matters is the thought. Just repeat the words of the prayer together, okay? Let's all thank our Master Jesus for creating this beautiful blue dot in the immensity of the universe. We visualize our earth full of love, charity, and care for one another. We visualize the good spirits traveling to all the corners of the universe and all of the parts of the earth where they may be suffering. We ask you, dear Lord, that you bless us with courage and resignation to go through difficult times. We pray that the good spirits are able to help those who suffer. We ask for help for all of those who are in hospitals, psychiatric institutions, jails, prisons, orphanages, areas of war, refugee camps, and areas of poverty and of wealth. May the good spirits be able to reach all suffering hearts on the planet. May we all united in love and charity, helping one another. We ask you, dear Lord, that you protect each and every one of us and make us an instrument of your will each and every day. We pray for all of those in spiritist centers and all of the other religious institutions on the earth. May we remain united, spreading the good news of your kingdom to come on this planet. We ask you for your guidance to go throughout through our days. And we hope that you can bless us with many, many more online meetings like this one. With your permission and with your protection, we end today's studies. And so be it.
dear friends thank you so much for being with me today i hope this was of help to you never forget to have a little bit of water with you when you are doing any spiritist studies and we hope to see you again well <clears throat> well and good serving our lord jesus always thank you bye bye